just how safe are we here in the United States? That is the big question that many people are asking because of all the people that are coming in. Are they terrorists? Are they spies? Well, we don't know. But Fox News says Biden's open border policy welcomes foreign spies. However, is there any truth to that? The answer, unfortunately, yes. There are foreign spies that are coming into the United States. The problem is we don't know where they're going. I want to break down what's happening at this time, explain what's going to happen tomorrow, because there's a big thing that's happening tomorrow, which we kind of already know the outcome or are expecting the outcome. But this is going to be huge, especially for President Biden and our border security. So I'll break all that down in just a moment. All I ask is one thing it takes two seconds. Go ahead, hit that like button if you enjoy these daily updates. And now let's begin. So let's go ahead and read this article from Fox News, and then I want to touch on what is happening tomorrow. This article says, Since Biden took office, more than 140,000 Chinese nationals have been encountered illegally crossing our border. Now, here's what you need to understand. 140,000 Chinese nationals does not mean 140,000 foreign spies. Not even close. But based off of the numbers, based off of statistics, if we have 140,000 Chinese nationals coming into the United States, the chances are two of those people are at least spies, at least two. How crazy is that, that we are allowing spies into the US? But it's what is going on in other spots as well, not just the US southern border. Look at this, now, I'm not gonna play this video, but this was talked about the other day, it said a Quantico breach was more bad optics for the Biden administration because two Jordanian uh, nationals were in ICE custody because of that Quantico breach, okay? Two Jordanian nationals. Again, it's not just China, it's not just in Jordan, it's not just you know, from you know, people from Venezuela or wherever, right? It's people from all over the all over the world. Now what does this mean moving forward? Well, this is where the White House has a plan. President Biden has this special plan, special bill that he says is going to stop all the immigration at the U.S. southern border. Well, the truth is Mexico and Mexican officials are the one that is stopping all the migration. They are stopping people from getting to the U.S. southern border. What's happening is they're preventing people from passing inside of Mexico. They're stopping them, sending them back. Well, guess what? The United States is benefiting from this. President Biden says it's his policies. It's what he has done. When in return or in, in reality, it's really what Mexico is doing. But look at this, okay? Senate Democrats are reviving the bipartisan border security bill, but the GOP already says they're going to block it. Why would they do this? Because haven't the Republican Party been pretty adamant that we got to do something for border security? The answer is yes. I want to read this to you. It says Republicans, including Senator James Lankford of Oklahoma, who negotiated the immigration package, say they will block it this week, dismissing the vote as a political exercise. Keep in mind what today is. Today, we're getting towards the end of May, which means we have, we're almost to June. We've got June, July, August, September, October, November. So in just six months, we have a presidential election. That presidential election is where, and again, leading up to it, is where we're going to see many different people propose bills. We're going to see Republicans try to pass a bill in the House, push over the Senate, see the Senate reject it, block it, or not even vote on it. Then Republicans are going to tell the American people, see, we tried to do this, but Democrats blocked it. Democrats are doing the exact same thing, where they're going to vote on this bipartisan bill. However, they know that the Republican Party is going to block it. So then they're going to come out and say, well, we tried to pass this bill. You guys blocked it. It's your fault. But again, this is something that President Biden is going to have some issues with because President Biden's bill, this White House back border bill, is losing Democratic support. Even Democrats don't like this bill. But Republicans say that this bill that they're trying to pass is actually worse than doing nothing. 
says the GOP rips into Schumer-backed border bill. Senator Marshall Blackburn ripped the Democratic-backed bill as an election year political stunt. That's almost what it is. But this is also why many people have tried to get Mayorkas out of office. But he said the White House has enforced the law since day one. Interesting. What's happening right now is somewhat troubling because what we are continuing to see is the United States become invaded. We are going to see people come from China, from Mexico, from Guatemala, from Turkey, from Jordan. They're coming from all over the world. They're not going to stop because here, here in the United States, what we are, the, the message the, that we're sending, uh, when you look online and it says the United States is the land of the free, right? The United States is, this is where everybody comes because this is where you can, you can get a job, you can work, you can get some help with housing, you can get help with food, you can get health care. That's not the United States. Yes, it's there. It's not free. That's the difference. Now, I want to show you this map. Look at this right here. This is from Newsweek. These are the top 10 places with the most immigrants recently ordered deported. It says counties with most residents ordered deported by an immigration judge in fiscal year 2024. The big one, you got New York over here. 10,897 people were ordered removed. Down here, eight. this is in Houston, 8,336. Over here in Los Angeles, 5,963. Now, why does this matter? Well, you look at the map, look at all the places that people are not ordered uh, being deported. Now, granted, we don't have uh, you know judges, immigration judges in, in every single city across the United States, but look at that, okay? Down here, over in the Los Angeles, Santa Ana area, over here, then over here in the, the Texas area. Okay, those are the big ones. Obviously, New York is just you know, a massive city, but keep in mind, every other place that we're not seeing many okay again this is only a top 10 but that's where people are going they're going to new york they're going to texas they're going to california those are the three places they like to go okay because those are some of the bigger cities texas is just easier to get to the reason why chicago's on this list is because again chicago is a you know a pretty uh immigrant friendly state right they they, they like people coming in that, you know, if you, you don't have, you know, status here, you're perfectly fine. Now, the last thing I want to tell you regarding this is President Biden is going to see this bill fail tomorrow. There's supposed to be a vote on this tomorrow. This is, this is going to vote. This is going to fail. If it fails because of Democrats not voting for the bill, that is the worst thing that could happen. And we may see this whole you know, vote fall apart because, uh, you know, Senate Majority Leader Chuck Schumer might not have the votes. If he doesn't have the votes, I don't see it going to the floor. I don't see them voting on this. If that's the case, and it likely will be, what happens? Well, they'll continue to, the discussions. That's all they're going to do. They'll talk about a little bit more. They'll consider different things. They'll throw the other party under the bus and say, well, it's because of you that this is turning into a problem. But just understand What's going to happen over the next six months is we're going to see a lot of discussions, but probably no action. All right. So just keep that in mind. They're going to talk about the border, how they can protect it. This is what they would do. This is why the other party isn't doing it. But keep in mind, as of right now, all expectations are it will just be talk. No action whatsoever. So we'll see what happens moving forward. All I can tell you is I will be here every step of the way and I'll fill you in on all the latest news and updates. But that is what we know as of today. So again, thank you guys for watching. Consider subscribing and I'll see you guys on the next one.